When the roots of Yggdrasil tremble, it will signify the unfolding of events that would shape the cosmos. But what is Yggdrasil? How are the Nine Realms connected to it? And what mysteries lie within the realms that weave around this colossal world tree? Welcome to the Mysteries of Mythology, Yggdrasil and the Nine Realms. Our journey through Norse mythology begins at the heart of the cosmos with Yggdrasil, the world tree. This immense ash tree isn't just a majestic figure in Norse legends. It's the very axis upon which the nine realms pivot, symbolizing life, death, growth, and connection. Its name intriguingly translates to the Horse of the Terrible One, a reference to Odin, who once hung from the tree in a self-imposed sacrifice for wisdom. This name captures the essence of Yggdrasil as not only a physical entity, but also a bearer of profound knowledge and cosmic secrets. Its towering branches reach toward the heavens and its deep roots burrow into the underworld, forming a bridge between worlds and weaving the very fabric of existence. Yggdrasil's health echoes the state of the universe. It thrives in harmony, yet it is said to tremble when it senses the arrival of Ragnarok, the Norse apocalypse. Beneath Yggdrasil's sprawling roots reside the Norns, Similar to the fates in other mythologies, these supernatural weavers, Urd, meaning past, Verdandi, meaning present, and Skuld, meaning future, shape the destinies of both gods and humans. Their influence transcends the boundaries of the realms, molding the past, present, and future with an authority respected by all in the cosmos. Perched high within Yggdrasil's branches is an unnamed eagle, embodying wisdom and an all-seeing vision. Between its eyes sits Vedrafulnir, a hawk ever watchful and vigilant. These creatures, alongside Ratatoska, the mischievous squirrel scampering along Yggdrasil's massive trunk, form a network of messengers and watchers, symbolizing the flow of information and knowledge throughout the cosmos. But the roots of Yggdrasil hide their own secrets. Here lies Nidhugga, the malevolent serpent dragon constantly gnawing at the roots, representing the forces of destruction persistently at play in the universe. This dynamic of creation and destruction is a central theme in Norse cosmology, embodied vividly in Yggdrasil's existence. Yggdrasil is more than just a mythical tree. It is a vivid representation of the Norse worldview, where every element is interconnected, where the actions in one realm resonate through all others. This interconnectedness makes Yggdrasil a symbol of the universe itself, a cosmic entity embodying the delicate balance of nature and the eternal dance between creation and destruction. Asgard, perched high above the other realms, is a beacon of divinity and power in Norse mythology. This celestial fortress, resplendent and majestic, symbolizes the pinnacle of divine wisdom and governance. Home to the Aesir gods, Asgard is a realm that transcends the mortal world. Embodying order and civilization in stark contrast to the wild realms beyond, the skyline of Asgard is marked by grandiose palaces, including the renowned Valhalla and Valaskjalf. Valhalla, Odin's majestic hall, is more than just a residence for the All-Father. It's a monument to honor and valor. Here, warriors fallen in battle, chosen by the Valkyries, await the eventual Battle of Ragnarok, reflecting the Norse ideal of a heroic afterlife. Inhabiting this realm are gods known not just for their might, but also for their wisdom and protective nature. Odin, the enigmatic All-Father, quests ceaselessly for knowledge. His wife, Frigg, possesses the power of prophecy. Thor, the revered Thunder God, stands as a guardian to humanity, while Loki, known for his cunning and complex schemes, adds a layer of intrigue and unpredictability to the divine narratives. Within Asgard is Folkvanger, ruled by Freya, a haven for half of the warriors slain in battle. 
This division of the honored dead between Valhalla and Folkvanger illustrates the Norse's complex views on valor and the afterlife. Central to Asgard is the Bifrost, a resplendent rainbow bridge connecting to Midgard, the world of humans, which symbolizes the gods' connection to the wider cosmos. Guarded by Heimdall, the Bifrost is a testament to the gods' role as overseers and protectors of the realms. The realm, with its intricate balance of power and wisdom, mirrors the Norse concept of Inangard, meaning inside of the fence, representing the civilized and ordered aspects of existence. In this way, Asgard stands as a vibrant contrast to the untamed forces represented in other realms, embodying the ideals of order and divinity in the Norse cosmos. Vanaheim, often shrouded in the mists of mystery in Norse mythology, is the realm of the Vanir gods. Unlike their Aesir counterparts in Asgard, the Vanir are closely associated with nature, fertility, wisdom, and foresight. Vanaheim is envisioned as a land abundant in natural beauty, where the cycles of growth and the rhythms of the natural world are deeply revered. The Vanir gods including deities like Freya, Freya, and Jord, are celebrated for their connection to the earth and the seas. Vonaheim itself is thought to be a realm of lush landscapes, where fields are eternally fruitful and forests teem with life. This realm is not just a physical space, but a manifestation of the Vanir's values and their harmonious relationship with the natural world. The relationship between the Vanir and the Aesir is a tale of conflict and reconciliation, initially at odds, leading to a war between these divine families. They eventually found peace. The truce was sealed with the exchange of hostages, symbolizing a union that brought balance to the cosmos. This narrative underscores the Norse understanding of harmony and coexistence between different aspects of existence. In Norse culture, the Vanir's significance extends beyond their role as gods of fertility and prosperity. They embody the wisdom of nature, the understanding of the unseen forces, and the cycles of life and death. Alfheim, the luminous realm of the Light Elves, is a world of ethereal beauty and mystique in Norse mythology. Often described as radiant and more splendid than the sun, Alfheim is inhabited by the Light Elves, beings revered for their elegance, grace, and otherworldly beauty. The Light Elves are said to dwell in magnificent abodes, surrounded by lush forests and sparkling waters. In the Norse cosmos, the Light Elves play a subtle yet significant role. While they are less involved in the direct affairs of gods and humans, their influence is felt as an underlying current of inspiration, creativity, and the nurturing of life. The Light Elves remind us of the importance of balance, the appreciation of beauty, and the nurturing of the spiritual and aesthetic aspects of life. Jotunheim, often translated as the realm of giants, stands as a stark contrast to the orderly world of the Aesir and the serene beauty of Alfheimer. It is a land of raw, untamed nature and formidable power, inhabited by the Jotnar, who are often portrayed as adversaries to the gods of Asgard. Jotnar are often depicted as having immense strength and size, but they are not all giants in the sense of being enormous. Some may appear human-sized or take on various shapes. They are closely associated with natural forces and elements, particularly those that are wild, untamed, and chaotic, such as mountains, storms, and the sea. This association positions them as embodiments of the raw and untamed aspects of the world. It is a place of ancient power, where the elements themselves seem to defy the order imposed by the Aesir gods. Norse mythology is filled with tales of interactions between the Aesir gods and the Jotnar. 
These stories often involve battles and challenges, but also exchanges of wisdom and even intermarriages, highlighting the intertwined fates and complex relationships between these two groups. For instance, Loki, a central figure in many Norse myths, is himself of Jotun heritage. The Jotnar are often seen as embodying the forces of chaos and destruction, in contrast to the order and civilization represented by the Aesir gods. Yet, they also represent a type of primal wisdom and are closely linked to the natural and elemental forces that predate the gods. Midgarda, the realm of humans, is a pivotal world in Norse mythology, serving as the grounding point in the cosmic drama of gods and giants. Midgarda, meaning middle enclosure, is situated at the center of the Norse cosmos, directly beneath Asgarda, the realm of the gods. It represents the world as known to humans, encompassing our earthly experiences and existence. The Norse viewed Midgard as a fortress surrounded by a great impassable ocean. In this ocean lurks Jormungandr, the immense serpent, an offspring of Loki who encircles the realm, biting its own tail. This serpent, part of the greater narrative of Ragnarok, symbolizes the dangers lurking beyond the known world and the cyclical nature of time and destiny in Norse belief. Midgarda, though separate from the divine realm of Asgarda, is closely linked to it. The Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge, serves as the connection between Asgarda and Midgarda, symbolizing the gods' oversight and involvement in the world of humans. This connection underscores the interdependence of the realms and the gods' role as protectors of humanity. Midgarda is the stage for many interactions between gods and humans. These tales often involve the gods in various disguises, journeying to Midgarda, influencing events, and interacting with humans, sometimes aiding them, other times testing their mettle. The landscape of Midgarda, with its natural beauty and harsh elements, shaped the Norse understanding of the world. They saw nature as both a provider and a destroyer, a sentiment echoed in their myths and legends. The rugged landscapes and the unpredictable seas were seen as manifestations of the natural forces that both challenged and sustained life. Svartalfheimer, often referred to as Nidavellir in some accounts, is the enigmatic and shadowy realm of the dwarves. It was thought that in earlier tellings of the realm's myth, Svartalfheimer and Nidavellir were seen as separate realms. Svartalfa translates to black elf or dark elves, considered different from dwarves. But in the Snorri Sturluson version, the two realms were merged, giving way to a new ninth realm. Hell, which we'll travel to later. Tucked away beneath the earth, this world is a labyrinth of deep caves, intricate underground cities and forge-filled caverns. Svartalfheimer is a place where darkness and light intertwine, where the fires of creation burn bright in the heart of the earth. The dwarves of Svartalfheimer are renowned throughout Norse mythology for their unmatched skills in craftsmanship and metalwork. These beings are master smiths and artisans, creators of some of the most powerful and magical objects in the Norse cosmos. From Thor's mighty hammer Mjolnir to the unbreakable chain Gleipnir that binds the wolf Fenrir, the dwarves' creations are not just marvels of craftsmanship, but also central to the unfolding of the mythic narratives. These underground cities and forges are marvels of architecture and engineering, showcasing the dwarves' profound connection to the materials of the earth and their mastery over them. Mujbelshema is the realm of fire and the home to fire giants and demons. This primordial world is envisioned as a land ablaze, where heat and flame reign with unbridled intensity. The ruler of Muspelsheimer is the fearsome fire giant Surtur. 
He's a pivotal figure in Norse mythology, especially in the events of Ragnarok, where he's prophesied to wield a flaming sword and lead his fiery kin in the final battle against the gods, ultimately engulfing the world in flames. Surtur's role in the myths highlights the dual nature of fire as a destructive force, but also as a catalyst for renewal and change. In Norse culture, fire is seen as a fundamental element of life. It is essential for warmth, for cooking, and for protection. Muspelsheimer, therefore, is not just a realm of danger and destruction, but also a symbol of the life-sustaining aspects of fire. Niflheimer, often described as the realm of ice and mist, is one of the oldest and most elemental realms in Norse cosmology. This ancient land represents the primordial force of frost, embodying a world where cold reigns supreme, shaping both the landscape and the mythology of the Norse. Niflheimer is a world of extremes, its landscapes sculpted by the relentless force of frost, offering a haunting yet stark beauty. In the grand narrative of Norse mythology, Niflheimr holds a place of critical importance. It is believed that in the beginning, it was the icy mists of Niflheimr meeting the fiery blasts of Muspelsheimer in the great void, Ginungagap, that gave birth to the universe. This elemental clash set the stage for the creation of all realms, including the emergence of Ymir, the first giant from the melting ice. Niflheimer's presence is more than just geographical. It contributes to the overarching balance of the cosmos. The realm's chilling mists and deep frosts serve as a constant reminder of the natural cycles of creation and destruction, the ebb and flow that governs all life. In Norse culture, Niflheimer symbolizes the raw power of nature in its most unyielding form. It serves as a powerful symbol of the resilience needed to endure life's more challenging facets, as well as the deep serenity and clarity discovered in the embrace of the cold and the calm. Hilheimer, often simply called Hel, is the somber and stark realm of the dead in Norse mythology. It is the final destination for those who did not die a heroic or notable death. Unlike the glorious halls of Valhull or the serene fields of Folkvanger, where warriors and chosen ones reside, Helheimer offers a more subdued and reflective afterlife. Governed by Hel, the daughter of Loki, often portrayed as a stern but just ruler, oversees this realm. In Norse mythology, the concept of the afterlife is complex and multifaceted. Helheimer reminds us that not all deaths are marked by glory, and that even a non-heroic death has its place in the cosmic order. It is a realm that challenges the Norse valorization of heroic death in battle, offering a more inclusive view of the afterlife. The journey to Helheimer is a solemn one. It is believed that the dead must traverse the Gjallarbrú, a bridge over the river Gjöl, guarded by the giantess Modguda, to enter Helheimer. This journey symbolizes the transition from the world of the living to the realm of the dead, a transition marked by reflection and acceptance. Helheimer's portrayal in Norse myth is not just about death, it's about the cycle of life. It represents the acceptance of mortality, the end of earthly struggles, and the peace that comes with release from the physical world. In our journey through the Nine Realms and Yggdrasil, it's essential to acknowledge how Norse mythology has evolved. Originally steeped in Viking beliefs, these tales were later interwoven with Christian influences. The works of the poet Snorri Sturluson, notably the Prose Edda and Heimskringla, are crucial to our modern understanding of these myths. They include the merging of Svartalfheimer and Nidavellir, as well as the addition of Hel. 
The mystical significance of the number nine in Norse mythology underscores its deep-rooted symbolism. This numerology, resonating with meanings of completion and divine connection, is evident from the nine realms to Odin's quests for wisdom. These enduring tales of Norse mythology captivate us, offering a glimpse into a civilization that viewed the universe as an interwoven network of realms and entities. There are more gods, more myths, and more magic to explore, so let your curiosity be your guide. Subscribe and join me as we unveil the next chapter in the saga of the mysteries of mythology.